How's it going guys, Alex here. Welcome to a Dragon Ball Sparking Zero video and today we are going to be going over one of the videos that went live around six days ago in regards to Sparking Zero and basically we got a bit of an insight into the cost of the characters that are going to be within the game and this is going to be very important especially if you're playing ranked mode. If it's unranked that's not going to matter too much but when it comes to the ranked mode of course there is going to be a bit of a limit. And we do know the cost of some characters, so I'm going to be going over that in this video. So in this particular mode, the cost limit is 15, and the cost for the Super Saiyan 2 Adult Gohan is a 7, whereas the cost for a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks is an 8. We don't know what the exact set limit is going to be for ranked, but I would imagine that it's going to be around 30 or a bit lower than that. And the interesting thing about this is that you're going to have to be smart with the characters and the forms that you pick. So let's say that hypothetically for ranked, the cost limit is around 20. Obviously, the characters, when they are in Super Saiyan God, Rosé, Super Saiyan Blue, they are going to have a higher team cost if you just put them in like that straight away. But maybe you're going to have to think about the transformations that you use right off the bat. Maybe you just start them off in their base form. Maybe just regular Super Saiyan 1, unfused. There may be a lot of things that you need to think about when it comes to using these characters in ranks because of their cost. Another very popular character that I would imagine a lot of people are going to use is Vegito. In his base form, his cost is a 7, whereas in Super Saiyan, he is going to cost 8. And then, of course, you can imagine that in Super Saiyan Blue form, that will even cost a 9 or a 10. So those little differences in their cost is definitely going to play a big part in your team composition. And like I said before, when it comes to unranked, it's not really going to matter because there's no limit there. But when it does come to ranked, I can imagine that there's going to be a set limit. So you do have to think about these things when you are composing your team. But I do still think it's nice to know in advance the cost of some of these characters. And of course, you can probably try to take a guess at the cost of some of the other ones just based on what we were given in this video. Because, for example, Pan is a 3 and Videl is a 2. So you can imagine that maybe someone like Yajirobe or Freezer Soldier is going to be in there as well. And then you have the Kid Trunks and Goten that cost 4 each. And then you have characters like Metal Cooler that is a 7. Full Power Freezer, Perfect Cell and Super Saiyan Broly are also a 7. Beerus is a 10, which is interesting. So, for example, Super Saiyan Rosé. Uh, Goku Black, and then Fusamasu, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, Legendary Super Saiyan Broly, DBS one or the Z one, they could probably cost around 10 as well. And Beerus, uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned that one yet, but Beerus has a cost of 10. Hercule costs a 1, the Ginyus are 3 per character, Fat Boo is a 6, and Metal Cooler is a 7. But based on the numbers that we were given, so let's say that Beerus is a 10 and he's most likely in the same tier as Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, Fusion, Fusion Zamasu, Ultra Instinct for example. These are the characters that are going to be at the very top of the game in terms of cost. And because of that, and considering the 5 character limit that you're going to have on your team presumably, they are most likely not going to have the team cost at 50 because then you could just throw all the OP characters in at once right i can imagine the team cost maybe being around 20 or 30 i think anything higher than that and then everyone is just going to start off with all the characters at their full power and you won't see any base forms like a base form goku black and it will also lead to more interesting matchups in my opinion because in certain situations you may be forced to use characters in certain forms that you wouldn't necessarily use them in and then you can just work your way up to their full strength. I should also mention that Vegeta is a 5. I believe that is the base form. Regular Cooler is a 6. And then we have Tapion at a 4. So there's definitely a lot to think about in regards to the character costs. And if I'm not mistaken, there is going to be another stream later on in about 3 hours or so. Uh, whenever this video was uploading. So they may even reveal more character costs around that time period but i'm going to assume that the highest cost for a character is going to be 10 i don't see it being any higher than that maybe 12 
Uh, that, that, that would be pushing it quite a bit. I don't know if there would be anyone higher than Beerus. Maybe they would give Whis a 12 as a joke just because of his instant dodging mechanic. But it does seem like they are keeping it a bit more grounded. And it's kind of based on how the series progresses. With the existence of the super characters, it would make sense that they would be higher cost due to their strength. But of course, you still have to play around that. But overall, I think this is pretty exciting stuff. I'm definitely looking forward to the release of the game. And I hope you guys are too. This was just a quick little update video on what the team costs are looking like for certain characters. And what it could potentially look like in the future. If you guys liked the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And I will see you all in the next one.